long to put together this beautiful Oncidium Cherry Baby. Uh, you remember I got this orchid uh, a few months ago, about uh, two or three months ago from um, Secret Garden and uh, right now uh, it, has, it has faded its blooms and it is uh, pushing up some new growth. I have one more here this one and uh, I guess it will uh, push up some more so uh, now it is a good time to report it because uh, I have checked it and uh, underneath uh, this uh, two new growth there are new roots starting so uh, that makes it a very good moment to report it because we want to let the orchid adjust to the, to the new medium and um, Uh, you know, I will report it into semi-hydro. I have soaked the orchid for 12 hours and uh, right now the roots are more flexible and the medium is saturated so it will uh, come loose faster from the roots. I will gently jiggle it around and uh, slowly, slowly it will fall off. Here we are on my kitchen table and we will make a little bit of mess but that it's okay. This orchid usually produces a very extensive root systems and um, it likes a lot of moisture that uh, making it uh, a little bit hard to grow in bark but this is a good medium. And it's not yet decomposed, which uh, makes me quite happy because uh, that uh, means uh, I have more chances for the roots to be alive. You know, when the um, medium is uh, decomposing, it's starting to uh, get compacted and uh, the roots get suffocated with uh, carbon dioxide. So, yeah, we don't want decomposing medium. Uh, it's a little bit hard at first to detangle the roots, but if you work gently enough, you will get there sooner or, or later. I have seen some snails on this orchid uh, after I purchased it and I put some snail pellets. I have only seen one snail and uh, that uh, died off. I didn't see them ever since and uh, judging by the root system of the orchid, I guess it doesn't have uh, a lot of them, but uh, it will get sprayed with hydrogen peroxide uh, just to be safe. Hydrogen peroxide does kill uh, the snails and um, snails' eggs when uh, you spray them, uh, when you spray it uh, very, very good on the roots. This is why you need to be extra careful when you are doing that. I can actually feel that a lot of these roots are alive, they are stiff, they are firm, they are green actually, so uh, yeah. I know this orchid likes uh, quite a lot of sun and um, despite uh, the care for other oncidium types, the Sherry Baby needs um, quite uh, more sunlight because uh, otherwise it won't bloom. Also I have heard a lot of time that the Sherry Baby is genetically predisposed to make uh, spots on the leaves and that is completely not true if you see my share baby doesn't have spots on the leaves and uh, I get to the uh, I got uh, to the conclusion that uh, if uh, the share baby has uh, spots on the leaves there are a few causes that um, you need to take into account uh, meaning uh, it might have spider mites 
or uh, it uh, might be a calcium deficiency or it might be a fungal problem so uh, you need to see exactly what it causes it and uh, not just uh, say well it is uh, genetically predisposed and that's all you wash your hands let's say <laughs> no and of course it has that horrible plug inside from when it was a seedling and that makes it quite a lot of that makes uh, this quite difficult to remove because we are going to repot it into semi-hydro with inorganic medium we really want to get all this uh, old medium out because otherwise in time it would rot so uh, we don't want that and also when you are going to spray it with hydrogen peroxide if you still have medium there you won't get to every crevices and you may uh, may uh, not uh, kill every snail and i think this is all i can do with uh, my own hands now i will go to the sink and i will um, shower the orchid very very well until all the medium uh, comes off uh, in between the roots and i will come back when that is done okay and now that the root system is uh, more clean um, I have sprayed the root system with hydrogen peroxide 3%. You need to make sure it's only 3% because any higher concentration will burn the roots. And um, we can see I still have a few pieces of bark here and there but I really can't do uh, any better than this at least for now. Usually orchids uh, that uh, are uh, reported in semi-hydro from bark will kill off some roots so uh, i am prepared to take off the orchid from uh, its pot in uh, let's say two months time and uh, i will see how the root system is uh, presenting there and maybe with uh, a root system which is smaller uh, after i cut the dead roots i will be able to take a little bit more of the medium which it is at the base of the plant uh, in any case uh, all these roots are alive so I don't need to cut any of them so I will leave it like that uh, I will use a very very big pot as you can see uh, this is a 20 or 25 I think centimeters pot here I have the reservoir and I have filled the pot till uh, let's say half centimeters above the reservoir with medium because we don't want to put uh, roots that are not uh, used to be in um, semi-hydro in there because they will die so now i will put the orchid i will try to spread a little bit the roots or I'll, as best as i can because um, i want to put a little bit more medium So we want to spread them as best as we can because we don't want to have gaps uh, inside and now uh, I will um, bring a little bit more medium and now we will continue to add more and more medium until the pot is full and uh, we will uh, gently tap the pot so we don't have any air gaps.
is pretty much the finished product guys you can see that the pseudo bulbs are not buried inside the medium they are on top of the medium uh, usually the pseudo bulbs which are buried will rot so we don't want that and um, also the roots didn't get into the reservoir so i hope uh, many of them will survive and uh, now i will go to the sink and i will water the orchid i will just fill up the pot with water and i will let it to drain and um, yeah i will place it in a sunny location and uh, i think i will put it in front of a ventilator so uh, i will dry off this uh, two new growths because i got some water trapped inside and because it's winter they may rot and uh, of course we don't want that so if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you very much for watching and see you all next time bye